Hi, I'm James McElroy with Holt Cat. Today we're going to do a walk around on this 120 M2 Cat motor grader. We're going to look at all of our daily checkpoints that we need to be keeping an eye on when we have these machines in the dirt working. First thing to know is if you run into any problems with your cat rental machine, if you'll scan this QR code or you can call the 1888 number on the bottom and somebody can help you out with the issues you're having with your machine. On a motor grader, we need to keep an eye on the cutting edges to make sure that they don't get too short and they start cutting into our mold board. We've got grease fittings. Most of the grease fittings on a motor grader are forward. These points here have grease. The front end has a lot of grease on it. The, the, the one daily grease point on this machine, though, is to grease this pinion gear under here. It doesn't have a grease fitting. You just take your grease gun and put some grease on the teeth and make sure it has grease on those teeth on a daily basis. Lots of grease fittings on the front of the machine. Lots of pin locations. Lots of grease fittings. Here and here. We need to check our tires to make sure there's, there's no cuts in the sidewalls. On the rear of the machine, you only have two grease fittings. These two grease fittings right here that grease the articulation joint on the machine. In this compartment, we have our engine oil dipstick, transmission dipstick is in here and you fill the transmission through this same port. You'll fill your engine through this port here if you need to add oil. This is a fuel water separator to see if we're getting any water in our fuel and if we do get some water in the bottom of this bowl we can drain it. The rest of the engine compartment we want to check for leaks, obvious items. Air filters access right there. Again air filters will need more service in a dusty environment. They're a service as required filter. Come to the back compartment. Hydraulic oil level. You add your hydraulic oil from the top of the machine. Your battery disconnect or master switch is right here. And this is a ground level emergency shutdown. Coming around the rear of the machine, we can open up our radiator and we can check in here to make sure there's no debris in here that's clogging our radiator up. We can blow it out. Air is the best tool for that. On the, on the cap motor graders, there's no grease fittings on this ripper, so we don't have to worry about greasing the ripper, but we do want to check our ripper teeth and to make sure they're not wore out and ripping in uh, and wearing into the shanks. On this side of the machine, we have our coolant reservoir. We can check it from here, make sure above the add mark, below the full mark, that's where the engine cold. Below it is the batteries. We want to make sure that the batteries are bolted down and that they're not jumping around in the machine. In this compartment, we don't have any daily checks, but we do want to check in here for leaks, for oil leaks, air leaks, exhaust leaks, anything that needs attention. Once inside the cab, we'll want to start the machine and we'll want to exercise all of our controls to make sure that they're working properly. Check our dash to make sure our gauges are working. And if there's any service codes on the screen, then contact us on the number that's on that QR decal.